What's up, YouTube? This is your King and I, Vince Valentine, EX Turk, coming back at you with a brand new video. And I gotta say, I got some good news. I've actually got some good news. Now, I kind of wanted to wait because I didn't want to spam, you know, videos because it's just not, you know, I'm trying to change how I share my content. But I guess it's not really spam if it's news because news happens at any time, you know. And you don't really have to create news. The news is already in the news feed and the articles. And pretty much as a Final Fantasy YouTuber, I have to actually talk about Final Fantasy news, you know. Now, I have skipped out on some news stuff like, the, you know, some controversial news topics for Final Fantasy. Such as the man who, the man in Korea who, was I think it was Korea, where he got spent like millions of dollars of plastic surgery to look like Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. But he was kind of a terrible look at Squall, just saying. If you're going to at least spend that much money on plastic surgery. And I can't talk shit because I want to be the real Vincent Valentine one day, so I can't really do it. But anyways, let's get to GamersRevolution.com's uh, good news. So, Square Enix Hajime Tabato would turn down Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yes. Don't get me wrong, I love 15, and I love, uh, uh, cr uh, okay, Crisis Core and Type-0 were Tabata's best games, but 15 would have been better if he didn't cut story out and replace it with nonsensical stuff, you know, such as a stupid cup noodle hat thing and the Assassin's Creed Festival we didn't need, you could have just gave us the clothes and that's it, but... You know, because that's what Tabitha focused more on, is the marketing thing. He didn't really care. He didn't really care about the, um, you could tell he didn't really care about the, uh, actual story. I mean, look at the, the chapter, t uh, 12 disappointment thing. At least it was a free update, though, so I'm not too mad. Okay. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a long article, so yeah, yeah, I'll link the article a little bit. Here's the, okay, here, here's the interview. Would you ever? Well, would you take over Final Fantasy VII Remake if Square Enix offered to you? Tabitha says no. Ooh, no, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Can I ask why? It's something I cannot remake myself. That's about it. Would you be? Would, uh, uh, would it be a lot of pressure? Final Fantasy VII is a special game. It's a big one. And then Tetsu. Uh, uh, then um, Tabitha explains only Tetsu and Nomura can make this good. And and I gotta say, good on you, Tabitha. Good on you, man. This is exactly what you. This is exactly what you need to do. Just set this one out, buddy. Just set this one out. You're, you know, you you had you had a good chance at making fifteen a good game. You did, and you know it turned out mixed and it's still playable. But I don't think you should be working on main Final Fantasy games. I'd work on sequels like you did before, sequels and prequels like Crisis Core and Type Zero. Those should be your babies, you know. So, good on you for uh, turning this down, dude. Like, seriously, this is this is why I said this is going to be some good news. This video is going to be nothing but good news. So, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Final Fantasy XV personally, but I do think that, you know, with the story cuts and the nonsensical, you know, derp DLCs, enough's, at this point, enough's enough. Enough's enough, and I don't want Final Fantasy VII Remake to be remembered as one of the worst Final Fantasy games, okay? I don't. I really don't. Would you support Final Fantasy XIII, Vincent? But yeah, but uh, you know, uh, thirteen actually had a full story, and they didn't put derpy DLCs. Maybe a derpy costumes, but that's it. You know, so, you know, good on Tabitha for actually declining this project, because, well... You see how 15 would have been. Final Fantasy VII Remake would have been just as horrible. In fact, you know, matter of fact, I per you know, it's just, it wouldn't be anything good. Okay, and then Game Revolution says, and so, that even though he did a good job on Crisis Core, and he did a good job on Crisis Core. Again, Crisis Core was one of the good games of Tabata. In fact, it's one of my favorite games Tabata's ever worked on. Tabata as well. It wasn't Final Fantasy VII itself. It wasn't. It wasn't. Because you had Genesis. Sure, it was a prequel. But you had Genesis, Professor Hollander, characters that clearly weren't in Final Fantasy VII. 
you know, a spinoff, a prequel. Yeah, but the main game now, they ask you to do Final Fantasy 7 too. That might be different. The game review bring us back a new project left in a room. We haven't got anything planned. So, I gotta say, Tappets is making some good decisions. He is actually making a good decision. Because, I mean, he would have done that to Final Fantasy VII Remake. He would have bastardized it with the with the derpy DLCs that we don't want. You know, he would bastardize it with the derpy DLCs. And pretty much story cuts. And you cannot cut Final Fantasy VII's story. You cannot cut Final Fantasy Fantasy 7's story. Final Fantasy 7 is sacred, not just to Final Fantasy fans, but to gamers as a whole. You know, this is what got us, most of us, into other Final Fantasies like 10, 12, 13, etc. Not to mention anyone who's had a PlayStation as a kid. This game's sacred. This this game is. Like the Bible to a gamers. You know. If you do anything like put derpy DLC. Or cut out the story. There's going to be backlash. And even Tabata has said it in the article. That you know there would be a lot of backlash. And yeah understandably so. This is a sacred game. You know. This is a sacred game. You cut out one thing. People are going to notice it. People are going to notice it instantly. They're going to notice it more than Final Fantasy 15. You know. Because you could ignore all the bad things about Final Fantasy XV if you never saw the trailers. If you never saw the Versus 13 stuff. If you never saw the, um, the Tokyo Game Show trailers before. You could, you know, you could, you could glide past Final Fantasy XV and wouldn't know any of that stuff. But you take one thing out of the Final Fantasy VII remake that's crucial and important to the plot. Fans are going to notice. They're going to actually notice. So I'm kind of glad, that, you know, he made a good decision. So... I think we, I think, you know, I think we should give applause to Hajime Tabata for making a good decision. Of course, he wasn't then signed to actually make the project, but they just asked him if, if you know, let's just say Tetsu No More never finishes it on time like usual. He would take, he, would he take it over? No. It just get longer to come over here, but, um, well, but with Tetsu No More's jurisdiction, since him and Katarse worked on the original Final Fantasy VII, I think... This was going to be the game that brings back the Final Fantasy community. This is going to be the game that resurrects the Final Fantasy community and puts it on top of everything else. Well, that and Dissidia and NT and Kingdom Hearts 3. You know, but then again, Dissidia and NT is an eSport fighting game. So, it actually categorized as a fighter, even though it's with Final Fantasy characters. It's still part of the fighting game community, the City NT. So, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII, you know, remake are very crucial to resurrect the 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 ever the dying Final Fantasy community we have. This will put us back on top with with Tetsu no more. Sure, he may be a perfectionist, but at least we don't have to worry about derpy DLCs, story cuts, or anything like that, or change in story. I mean, you could tell Tabata didn't really want to work on the Astro War. Because the Astro War was just terrible. And I know when I say these things, people put dislikes or people, you know, unsubscribe because I say something they don't like. But it's just the truth. It's just the truth. As a gaming YouTube channel, I do have to criticize games. I have to go in it. Because if I were to go as a fanboy, I would say nothing's wrong. I'd be like the other... I'd be like the I'd be like the other fan base that says nothing's wrong, you know, you know. But you know, to be professional, you have to look at everything as there's been mistakes, there's flaws in everything. There's nothing perfect. Nothing is perfect. There's good, you know. There's gonna be flaws in the Final Fantasy VII remake, but with Tetsu no um, uh, you know, guidance and and overwatching. This game's gonna turn out so so good. So I guess leave this right here with May the Crystal be with you. Tell me yay or nay or anything like that. Are you happy that Tabitha's never gonna work on the Final Fantasy VII remake? And May the Crystal be with you. Do you any more? Cause you've run through me.